in the vital energy, just squeeze the vital energy onto the bones, and then far from the bones. So the stretch he gives me, I put it into his joints, my joints, he gives me more, 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 and then I release through the matrix. We'll jump onto the fire element. The, the first of the eight powers, standing up, uh, vital breathe. What I want you to do is, is, in the vital energy, just squeeze the vital energy onto the bones, and then far from the bones. And then squeeze the other direction, so this way and then the other direction this way, into the bones, and then fire. We've got an outward spiral and an inward spiral. And when you're squeezing this energy onto the bones, just for, you'll get it there and then relax it in and then shoot it out. Relax it into the bone marrow and then shoot it out. And just press your feet. So once you've locked it in, and you're ready to let it go, press into the ground and, and, and release. Press into the ground and release. So let's say you uh, are doing an art where um, there's a lock this way or a lock that way. Whatever that grabbing shape is, you can just adapt this to any martial frame that works for you. So you might be doing eagle claw and then relax it in and boom, and then shoot it out. Same thing. Here we're just going through two basic spirals, inward and outward spiral and shooting, and then this is sort of like the generic middle, and then you take that principle and apply it to whatever your use case is in your martial art. Let's squeeze into the mirror, and fire. The, when you squeeze the, the bones and then you relax it in, you're relaxing it in with an intention to fire it out like an elastic band. If you relax it into the feeling of, of long-term storage and then you go to fire it out, it doesn't go. You need short-term elastic storage to, to pulse it back out of the system. It's a type of intent. Okay, once you have that um, idea there, then you can work different patterns. So let's say... Um, the concept was for me to grab the elbow and, and work off to the side. Then, in, thank you, in the air, I'm going to work this, grab the elbow and draw in. And then from here, I'll choose how I'm going to shoot that energy out. And you can uh, be, you might be, you know, defending against the front kick and then work the energy there and then shoot out. And design any way of absorbing energy in and then shooting energy out that works for your use case. It's completely freeform. And you'll find the moment you go from doing the exercise in a fixed shape to freeform, the energy amplifies. Because that creative freedom in your mind goes, oh, I'm gonna train like this, and boom, and do it like that, and boom, and then you get that kind of excitement in your spirit to, to amplify the fire element, and then it becomes fun. So get creative, connect in. Now, uh, I've got to get uh, my partner floating. So I know Dinesh well, so he's, he's going to float very, very quickly. Now, once I've got the float, I want him to give me a, uh, a stretch towards me, and then I match that stretch, and then I float and open him through the stretch, and then I, I shoot that electric pulse out. So the stretch he gives me, I put it into his joints, my joints, he gives me more, 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 and then I release through the matrix. And then we have that far jin that a lot of the Tai Chi internal people look for. But if I put that into his body, and <clears throat> not, nothing's happening, I get the float, now it happens. So I've got to go into the matrix. If I hit the wrong place, it, it, he'll, he'll neutralize that energy. That's got to be in the right place. So breathe into your partner, Get them open, and then shoot it through the matrix, and you get a, a dramatic reaction. 
And it's very measurable. You just change your mind, put it in a little bit different place. You find go, oh, kind of worked, didn't work. And you put it in the right place, it really works.